The Natural Order of Money by Roy Sebag delves into the intrinsic relationship between money and the natural world. Sebag's exploration begins by highlighting the prevalence of money in our lives, framing it not merely as a human creation but as an extension of natural order. He unveils a perspective that elucidates the parallels between the characteristics of money and those found in nature. Sebag intriguingly compares the attributes of money to fundamental natural elements. He establishes a parallel between the scarcity of money and the finite resources of nature, emphasizing how both scarcity and abundance shape their respective ecosystems. This comparison serves to illustrate the essence of money as an element deeply embedded in the natural laws governing the universe. Furthermore, Sebag addresses the concept of value, elucidating how it is not an arbitrary construct but rooted in fundamental aspects of human existence. He elucidates the correlation between the value of money and the subjective valuation inherent in nature. Just as the worth of a natural resource fluctuates based on its utility and scarcity, the value of money is similarly contingent upon its utility and acceptance within society. The author extends his analysis to the evolution of money, tracing its historical journey and drawing parallels to natural processes of evolution. He presents money as a dynamic entity that undergoes metamorphosis, akin to the adaptation and evolution witnessed in the natural world. This comparison accentuates the organic nature of money's development, emphasizing its responsiveness to societal needs and changes. Moreover, Sebag delves into the interconnectivity between money and trust, drawing an analogy between trust in financial systems and the interdependence observed in ecological networks. He portrays trust as the foundational pillar that sustains the functionality of both monetary systems and natural ecosystems. This comparison underscores the significance of trust in fostering stability and resilience within these intricate systems. The author also scrutinizes the consequences of disrupting the natural order of money. He warns against interventions that deviate from the fundamental principles governing money, likening such disruptions to ecological imbalances that disturb the equilibrium in nature. This cautionary perspective serves as a poignant reminder of the potential repercussions of disregarding the organic evolution and principles of monetary systems. Sebag concludes by advocating for a holistic understanding of money that incorporates its innate connection to the natural world. He calls for an approach that respects the organic evolution of money, acknowledging its alignment with the foundational principles governing nature. By embracing this perspective, Sebag suggests that societies can foster a more sustainable and harmonious relationship with money, aligning its functions more closely with the rhythms of nature. In The Natural Order of Money, Roy Sebag presents a compelling argument that transcends the conventional view of money as a purely human construct. Through intricate parallels and analogies with nature, Sebag underscores the inherent connection between money and the fundamental principles governing the natural world. His analysis challenges readers to contemplate money not in isolation but as an integral part of the intricate web of natural order, urging a re-evaluation of our relationship with this essential aspect of human civilization.